Hi, this is STEMS Grow, and we're here with another fun science activity that you can do at home. Today, we're going to explore bubble science. The first activity we're going to do is we're going to make a square bubble. Nope, not square. Not square. So we can see when we blow a bubble, it's always going to be round. The reason is, is because the water molecules that are trapped inside the soap molecules are going to create the smallest surface area they can. That shape is always going to be a circle. Bubbles are just water molecules trapped in between two soap molecules anyway, and what happens is those soap molecules let that surface tension stretch a bit, which le lets the bubble last. So in order to make a square bubble, we're going to have to make a frame for the soapy water to stretch across the edges. From this shape, we'll be able to get a square-shaped bubble. In order to create this frame, we're going to need some materials. We're going to need 12 pieces of pipe cleaners, 12 pieces of plastic straws cut a bit shorter than the pipe cleaners. Once we get um, all the pieces that we need, we put the three pipe cleaners together like a tripod and do that four times. So you will have four of these and then you slide the pieces of straw onto the legs of each of these tripods. You should have four of these. Uh, four of the tripods will come together and you'll twist them together to create your frame, to create your, to create your cube. Then you get a container big enough to fit the cube. I have a pot of water. Uh, soapy water. I put about a half a cup of the dish soap in here. I'm going to take the frame and I'm going to dip it right in and hold it in under the water for a few seconds. When it comes out, sometimes it takes a couple of tries. You should see that there's almost a line in there that kind of looks like a square already, but that's not the square bubble we're looking for. We're going to take our bubble wand or another straw to blow a bubble in the middle, and it's going to create a square bubble inside that frame. So if you look closely, you'll see a square bubble being held together by the soapy film attached to the edges of your frame and that is how you would create a square bubble. You can try the frame in different sizes. You can try different materials to create the frame and see how you would be able to create more of these square bubbles for yourself. 